Hey, what's up everybody? It's Coach Matt, EliteThrowsCoaching.com. Coming to you today with kind of a quick video, like a quick hint, a quick, quick tip for the coaches out there. Um, and that is that you can learn a lot about your throwers. And if you're a thrower yourself watching this, you can learn a lot about your technique by taking a look at your shoes. So I have got my shoes in the bag. If you take a look at these shoes, so this is as a right-handed thrower, here's the bottom of my right shoe. You know, again, completely destroyed on the bottom, like right here is all chewed up and you know, you, all the way down to that plastic uh, foot plate underneath, that hard plastic. And, uh, but what don't you see? So let's look at the very top of the shoe. Look at the top of the shoe right there. Okay, you don't see top of the shoe. There's no holes on the very top of the shoe. If we turn it, there's no holes or any wear on the side of the shoes. The very, very top part here, if I can show you if it'll focus, see that right there up by the tippy toe of the shoe. There's no wear, there's no grinding or like wound, uh, you know, worn out sections. It looks pretty much like it did the day it came out of the box except for that spot on the bottom. So what does that say about me and the way that I coach and the way that I demonstrate? If I saw somebody who had that wear pattern on the pattern, hear me from New England, that wear pattern on the bottom of their shoe like that, I would kind of say to myself, well, that person knows what they're doing. That person has a good idea of what they're doing because Again, it's only worn down on the bottom of that power foot. So I'll show you what I mean in a second, but it's a good exercise that you can do is to take a look at your thrower's shoes because you can learn a lot from what their shoes look like. I can even remember, you know, here in Rhode Island, you know, we do the hammer in high school and you could see the hammer throwers. You knew exactly if they were a hammer weight thrower, if they were a shot put discus thrower just by looking at their shoes because the different wear patterns on their shoes. So what I wanna do is show you kind of some of the typical wear patterns on shoes and what that says about your athletes. So these things are hard to put on, man. Lots of straps and everything else and get those over there. Get this over here. Woo, these are slippery. Okay, so typical thing we're gonna see is your athletes are gonna have for the most part, the majority of your athletes, if you look at their feet, they should have a big old hole on the bottom of their foot. There should be a worn down spot on the bottom of their foot. And that's one of the cues that I give to my athletes is I say, I want you to wear a hole in the bottom of your shoes. I want you to wear a hole in the bottom of your foot. Okay, you should be able to see your sock through the bottom of your shoe. It's never gonna happen, obviously, you got that foot plate underneath, but you should be able to see that wear pattern on the bottom of the shoes. A lot of times what we see is the wear pattern on the very top of the shoe. So the actual material, that like nylon, synthetic, whatever, leather, upper, is really worn down. And the way we get this is when the athlete drags their foot. So they go through the power position, they're getting ready to throw, all their weight's on their left, and then they drag their foot forward. So they drag their foot forward as they push the ball. How were you able to drag your foot forward? Well, there's no weight on it, okay? So if you're able to do this, there's no weight on the foot, okay? You need to keep your weight back. So if you see your athletes that are doing that with that wear pattern, that hole forming on the top of their shoe, or even on the very tip of the shoe, like where the shoe meets the rubber on the bottom, then you know that they are shifting their weight too early and they're dragging that foot. The other way place that you see it is on the side right here. Now we had a girl many years ago, she was a three-time state champ. She holds our bench press record here in the gym. Phenomenal thrower. She was a lefty. I'm gonna show you a righty just so you don't mess you up. Uh, people don't like coaching lefties. But she would have that hole kind of on the side of her foot. It looked almost like one of those hammer thrower holes where the side of their shoe gets worn down. It looked like a hammer thrower hole. But it's because when she threw, she would throw and then she would drag this foot, like the side of the foot, almost like a pitcher in baseball. She dragged the side of her foot on the ground and it was such a hard habit to break because again, if you're able to drag that foot and move this foot because you're dragging it on the side of the ground, all my weight is 
shift it onto my left, I'm a right-handed thrower. I'm supposed to have my weight on my right. So if you're able to do that, if you're able to drag your foot, that means you've already shifted your weight too early. So that's what you can figure out by looking at your athlete's shoes. The other place where this shows up is on that blocking foot or that pivot foot, whatever you want to call it, whatever you do call it. I don't want to use the wrong term and make everybody really upset, but in the back of the rotational shot and the discus, you are pivoting on, for me as a right-handed thrower, I'm pivoting on my left foot. So you should see a wear pattern on the bottom of the left foot as well. So the bottom of my left foot is really worn down and smooth. And that's because I'm staying on the ball of that left foot as I'm demonstrating to athletes how to pivot out of the back, or if you're in discus, how to pivot out of the back of the circle. You're pivoting on the ball of that foot. These shoes, they look like little elf shoes. There's a back of the foot and a front of the foot. There's sort of a back, which is like the midfoot to the heel, and then the front kind of toe box, toe portion. It kind of creates a little angle. So you've got a back and you've got a front. You gotta stay on the front part of that shoe. But what do a lot of athletes do? They roll up on the side of the shoe, not like a Reese Hoffa kind of hammer turn out of the back, but they roll up on the side of the shoe. Or they've been throwing for like a year and a half and there's barely any wear on the shoe. What does that mean? That means they're probably picking the foot up or they're kind of jumping off the foot without actually pivoting or kind of putting their weight on it. So if you take a look at the bottom of, for a right-handed thrower, a rotational shot put or discus thrower, the bottom of their left foot should have a nice even wear pattern on the bottom. If you're seeing that that wear pattern is like too close to the tip of the foot, or that there's no wear pattern at all, or that it's on the side of the foot, well then you know they're not doing it right. So just take a quick peek at your throwers, see what their shoes look like, kind of get an idea of what's going on, and it's, it's a really good thing to show your athletes too because it's visual proof. Hey, say, hey, let me see the bottom of your shoes. Take the bottom of their shoes. Okay, see how this section right here looks brand new? That should be really worn down. See how the top of your shoe has a big old hole in it and you can see your big toe sticking through and your sock sticking through? That's because you're dragging, so we have to work on that.